topic of conversation these days going around a lot is target panic. Um, a lot of people don't understand what target panic is and there's really no one definitive definition that's the same for everyone. But basically, is as someone shoots more and more and wants to shoot better and better and better, they start getting a little bit of a lockup. If you come in, to, when you draw the bow and come in down towards the bullseye, a lot of people will get to the point where they're almost afraid of seeing their pin in the middle of the target. I know that sounds weird, but so they'll freeze right here and can't seem to pull the bow down and what'll happen is you end up pulling it down and you'll shoot right through. And then you'll try to time your release where you hammer the release as it drops through the, the bullseye. We call that drive-by shooting. And doesn't lead to the best accuracy. Some people come from the bottom up and they get to about here with their pin and they can't seem to drive it up into the middle. Um, some people just can't seem to pull the trigger at all when they get into the bullseye. It's all different for everybody. Wondering whether you really have target panic or not? A good test is to find a shop that has what we call a draw check release or a camp fire. It's a release you can hook on the string and pull back, but there's no way to fire it. It's permanently hooked onto the string. And you'll, what most people are gonna find is that surprisingly, they'll be able to put their pin dead center and hold it nice and steady in the middle of the bullseye without any troubles whatsoever when they brain knows that they can't release that arrow. But the minute they switch back to their regular release where there is an ability to fire, it starts dancing around really bad or freezing up really high or really low. Basically, it's a mental connection between your brain and your trigger that can cause problems. If you consciously know when you're gonna pull the trigger, your brain can react differently. So uh, there's a lot of fixes for it. One would be just shooting at a blank bale, just shooting in a spot, maybe even taking the sight off your bow and just executing your release, shoot it, close your eyes, shoot your bow, different things like that. And it can take a while to work through something like that. Other things, a lot of people try to switch releases. Thumb triggered release that triggers with your thumb tucked in where you can just slowly squeeze and fire it. You can get into a back tension release with no trigger at all that's fired by pure rotation as you lock in and pull through the shot, the release fires. What this allows you to do is set up a release or a method of shooting the release that's sort of subconscious. That you start like, ooh, I'm gonna release it, and you just start pulling and you concentrate 100% on aiming at the target and it allows your brain to relax and only think about aiming, don't think about your release. And it gives you the ability to put the pin in the middle of the target a lot better and, and execute your release. Uh, it, it can cause a lot of troubles with a lot of people and it takes a lot of time but uh, if you have trouble with what target panic, freezing high, freezing low, driving through, um, talk to your professionals at your local archery shop, talk to some of the professional archers around you and I'll bet you they've all gone through it once and they're going to be able to help you. just heard some great tips from Boyd and one of the things Boyd's been helping me and a few other guys at the archery club uh, get over is my target panic. Um, as Boyd talked about, my target panic issue is I get to the top of that bullseye and I can't get my bow and my pin to drop in there and hold steady and then I do the drive-by like Boyd talked about. So one thing I've been playing with is a back tension release, a hinge. Um, this is a, a true ball uh, sweet spot release back tension. The cool thing about this and what makes it great for, for beginning archers that are trying to back tension is the safety feature. So once I get to full draw, I can click the safety off and then I can start pulling through and get that surprise release that I'm trying to achieve um, with my shot. So it's, it's taken a lot of time, I've done a lot of blank bail shooting, but I can definitely see the differences already and it's only been a few weeks. So stay tuned to Bones and Broadheads, we're going to be shed hunting here in a few weeks and uh, we'll bring you that shed hunting action but remember get a, get a back tension have a surprise release it's the only way to actually cure target panic from what I've found is a surprise release with a, with a hinge style release so thanks for watching and shoot straight and shoot often